If you've clicked on this video, you're probably interested in beginning game development. You started looking at all the game engines out there that can make your dreams become a reality. There are a lot of great options, such as Unity, Unreal, or any of the other numerous game development platforms, but you finally stumbled upon the Godot game engine, or Godot, depending on who you ask. Want to know if Godot is right for you, or just want to learn some more? Today, we're taking a look at the top five reasons to use the Godot game engine as your development platform of choice. To start off, the Godot editor is an incredibly small download compared to a lot of the other engines out there. Godot 4.1 clocks in at just over 51 megs. This means that we can almost immediately start programming and we don't have to wait through a lengthy installation process. If we don't want to grab it right from the official website, Godot can also be downloaded through Steam, the Epic Game Store, and itch.io. Installation is a breeze, so you'll be up and running in no time. GScript is the language of choice of the Godot game engine. This language is built off of a similar architecture to Python, another popular programming language. Now this is an extremely simple language and is really easy to get started with. Rather than being bogged down with having to juggle semicolons and brackets to organize our code, the syntax in GDScript relies on indentation to dictate functions and loops. This means that a programmer can rapidly create large blocks of code in an efficient manner. Additionally, there are a ton of great built-in libraries and the language is very well documented, which makes learning a breeze. Speaking of learning, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our Godot or GD script tutorials. To build on that GD script, we have another great aspect of the Godot game engine, and that's the incredible free assets available to download from the asset library. These range from simple things like audio and texture packs to complex inventory systems or even biome builders. There are even tools created to help import assets from other programs such as Asprite and Unity that can be downloaded directly from the asset library. The library can be used directly inside the editor when we're working on our projects, but can also be accessed from any web browser and we can just download and import those into existing projects. The assets on the asset library are regularly updated and can become great additions to your next masterpiece. One of the toughest things about learning a new game engine is finding good examples of its functions and features without having to code everything from scratch. Fortunately for us, the asset library that we just talked about has countless different official demos with topics ranging from UI element themes to player controllers and even covering web sockets so we can create peer-to-peer -peer multiplayer. If the official demos don't have everything you're looking for, they work as great building blocks for your next big game that we can add on and utilize later. Looking for something that isn't an official demo, the asset library also has a huge amount of community created demos that can be downloaded and used as well. Need a little bit more help than scrubbing through the documentation or playing with the official demos, or maybe you just want to bounce ideas off of other game developers. The Godot game engine has the community built just for that. There are a few different outlets for community interaction and a more complete list can be found on the official website under the community tab. Firstly, the Godot Discord has an active community and have different channels to help out on different topics, including just general programming, visuals, UI, or animation. The users in the Discord are very attentive to the messages that are in there and always give great advice to the questions that they're asked. Another outlet for user interaction is a community forum. The forum is back up and running and acts as another location to get help, share ideas, or talk about all things Godot. Lastly, Godot has a passionate and knowledgeable group of YouTubers that constantly upload high quality content for the Godot game engine. These videos can act as a great place for inspiration, to learn something new, or just consume content and show support for the community by watching, commenting, and subscribing. These are just five of the countless reasons to use the Godot game engine. Be sure to check out the links in the description to visit the official Godot website to learn more and get programming today. 